Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. I'm here with Dirty Dan. Howdy. Hey, you got mail. <laughs> mail? Oh, boy. Santee, how about a video on reloading tools they used in the Old West? Bob Hartman. Reloading? We can do that. Just like today, reloading was... No, not that reloading. A different reloading. Let me try it again, okay? <coughs> Just like today, reloading was a cost-effective solution if you needed ammo. Folks who lived primarily in or near a town could find factory-produced ammunition fairly easily. But what if the gunsmith or mercantile was out of ammo and you needed some? What if you had a rare caliber that they didn't carry? In the early era of the cartridge, many folks were still shooting cap and ball firearms. The older style guns were cheaper to buy and easier to make ammo for. Buffalo hunters and mountain men were most likely to make their own ammunition. Shooting black powder was low velocity and therefore didn't need much past the hardness of pure lead. <laughs> they could scavenge for fired bullets or buy the lead in what were known as pigs. No, not those pigs. These pigs. Okay, here's the process. They'd melt the lead over a very hot buffalo chip fire. Then the molten liquid was poured into molds, cooled, and the excess lead trimmed off. The handling of lead back then was probably done with gloves, since lead is pretty toxic. We deal in lead, friend. So do I. During the fur trade era, black powder was sometimes sold in sealed lead containers, which were then melted down and cast. Therefore, you had the bullet material encasing the powder in a nice, somewhat portable package. The shells in here belong to him. You tell him he can come and get them anytime. If you loaded cartridges, you needed additional stuff. This hand loading tool was your production line. Having used a modern Lee hand loader, I can tell you that the process is not graceful, but it does get the job done. All these attachments were necessary to make a single cartridge. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this process, I'm going to give you a short rundown. First, you deprime your fired cartridge and insert a fresh primer. Then you open the mouth of the cartridge to accept a new bullet. After pouring in your gunpowder, you would seat your bullet and then crimp the brass around it to create a seal. Nope. This is just stupid. Pictured here is a reloading press for those who had the freedom to reload at home. So, how much did it cost to reload? The initial investment was costly for the time, but, like today, it pays off in the long run. Groups of hunters or mountain men would split the cost of the materials, thus making it an even more economically sound idea. 45 long colts. Now, that's a bullet. Yeah. 50 BMG. Now that is a bullet. Well, folks, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Don't be rolling your eyes at me. I got the delivery system for this puppy. Thank you.